Hi guys, welcome to the Apple Resonance Chemistry. Now we are discussing about uh, another important lecture in advanced membrane reactions. Okay, so that is a uh, Strobe condensation. Strobe condensation. So now here itself it's, it it, it uh, defines uh, the condensation reaction. Okay, uh, itself it defines the condensation reaction. So generally, Strobe condensation is also enough. Uh, method to form the C double bond C. Okay, now here we will prepare the like alpha beta unsaturated compounds, alpha beta unsaturated compounds. So generally, stop by condensation definition is the condensation of the condensation of uh, carbonyl compounds, carbonyl compounds. Okay, so generally aldehydes are the ketones, aldehydes and ketones. So among these two aldehydes are more preferable carbonyl compounds with the uh, esters of uh, succinic acid, esters of succinic acid in presence of uh, base. Okay, in presence of a base uh, to give alpha beta unsaturated esters alpha beta unsaturated of half, half esters okay not complete ester so half ester another one is another part is uh, gets hydrolyzed okay so now the general representation of a stabe condensation now we know that uh, uh, like a uh, 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 succinic acid formation okay now here it is a uh, formic acid here hydrogen only there and now it is called formic acid whenever two carboxylic acids are present then it is called oxalic acid now here only one methylene group is present then it is called malonic acid okay now here Two methylene groups are present then it is called a succinic acid okay now here we use the esters that means here it may be like a R group it may be ethyl or isopropyl or methyl whatever it may be now here it is the succinic acid which is treated with carbonyl compounds either aldehyde or ketone okay generally aldehydes are more prefer more preferable to react with the succinic acids now here in the presence of base like a tertiary butoxide okay like a sodium potox uh, like a sodium ethoxide or like a, a sodium hydride such type of bases are used in the condensation reaction condensation means except for here the elimination of water takes place why because here it forms the alcohol that alcohol will undergo the condensation will use the double bond okay now we will get the double bond like this see double bond o ethyl or r okay now here it creates the double bond so okay now here it is r it is represented as r dash okay now here c o o minus it may be positive that is a cation okay so one of the comp one of the ester functionality will get a hydrolyzed now the two esters cannot hydrolyze in this reaction okay so that ester which is opposite to the like a c double bond z formation reaction okay so generally this is the simplest representation of stabe condensation okay aldehydes are carbonyl compounds so aldehydes are ketones treated with esters of succinic acid in presence of bases it gives a carbonyl compound alpha beta position so alpha beta position alpha beta unsaturated half ester okay now here only one of the ester is uh, retained another ester gets hydrolyzed another ester gets hydrolyzed now here uh, one of the ester gets uh, one of the ester in succinic acid gets hydrolyzed gets hydrolyzed so that is so which which ester gets hydrolyzed either c double bond z formation ester or opposite ester now here that is opposite to the c double bond c formation c double bond c formation group okay opposite to the c double bond c formation group now here it's it it proceeds through the like a cyclic ester it proceeds to the cyclic ester now we'll go through the mechanism of a stabe condensation Now, the mechanism of uh, Stabe condensation. Okay, now here it is a succinic acid, a su succinic acid ester, that is ester of succinic acid. Now we use it the base, we use it the base. Now here one of the methylene group uh, deprotonated, one of the methylene group deprotonated. Now here it creates the carbonyl. Now here it creates the carbonyl. That carbonyl undergoes the ketoenol tautomerism. Now here it forms the oxyanion oxyanion or 
like a double bond O R. Okay, whenever this oxy anion will shift it return back, then it, it becomes a C minus. Okay, now here oxy oxygen minus, now here carbon minus. So among these two, uh, carbon minus is more nucleophile. Why? Because the lesser electronegativity atoms uh, will show the more nucleophilicity when compared to the higher electronegativity atom. So that's why, so O minus cannot uh, attack the like electrophilic center of the atom, electrophilic center of the carbonyl compound. It may be R group, whatever it may be. Okay, so so here it is not possible so why because it is less nucleophilicity whenever it undergoes the again return of a keto enol tautomerism that carbon ion will attack over there then it becomes o minus okay now it becomes o minus c double bond o o r o minus okay now here that o minus i will write the o minus over here so this group will shift it to the red side, will group, uh, will shift it to the, just uh, it is oriented only, okay. Now here this O minus will attack over the car uh, carbonyl compound of ester that will undergo the O minus, that means uh, the bonded two electrons will shift it towards the oxygen minus, oxygen atom, then it becomes O minus, that O minus will return send back the electrons to the same atom, now here O R elimination takes place, O R elimination takes place, O O R, here R group, here O like this here it is double bond o now here cyclic ester it proceeds through the cyclic ester okay in in case of cyclic esters now whichever the proton ab abstracted the position whichever the proton abstracted again it having the another another proton that proton will gives the bonded to electrons again now here it forms the carbon carbon double bond the new bond is carbon carbon double bond now the ring is opened the ring is open c double bond o o r now here it is double bond r group okay now here c o o minus so that minus will obstruct the cation of uh, our base salt okay our whatever the base we used the, that salt will appear over here okay now i used the sodium base now like we will get the sodium cation we used the potassium base we will get the potassium okay whenever we used the uh, then get a heat it, it becomes hydrolyzed now here it gives the o r double bond r here it is OH. Only one part is hydrolyzed, another part is retained, another part is retained. Now here it forms the alpha, beta and saturated carbonyl compound. So alpha, beta and saturated esters, okay, half of the ester, not complete ester, another part uh, will become uh, carboxylic acid, okay. So this is the simplest mechanism of uh, strawberry condensation. Okay, now we discussed one of the application of uh, Strabic condensation. Now, with the help of uh, Strabic condensation, we will prepare the uh, like a, a cyclization product. A cyclization product. Now here it is the aromatic compound that is carbonyl compound. Okay, now here it is a uh, acetophenone. Acetophenone. Methyl here double bond. This is called acetophenone. Now I represent the molecule like this so due to the our convenience. Okay, now here it is C double bond O C H three. So this is acetophenone. Okay, so this acetophenone treated with a succinic acid like a succinic ester COO ethyl COO ethyl in presence of a base like a tertiary beta uh, like a potassium tertiary beta oxide in tertiary butanol in tertiary butanol now what will happen so the first step uh, here it is uh, undergoes the condensation and now we will get the condensed product here it is methyl okay i'll write the two two forms two possibilities over here so one is the Condensed product over here. Okay, now here it is a COO ethyl. Here it is methyl. Here it is methyl. So another one is like a COO OH. So the opposite part will get the hydrolyzed. Opposite part will get the hydrolyzed. Now what will happen if in case here it is the uh, like a here it is the uh, carbon carbon double bond takes place. Now here methyl double bond over there. CO like a CO ethyl. Okay, now here uh, it forms the like a CH two CO ethyl. Okay, now here C double bond OH, C double bond OH. Okay, these two groups whenever in presence of uh, like a uh, acids, now it becomes. Uh, okay, now here already double bond is there. Now for starting it forms the like a double bond. Okay, whenever here it undergoes the keto enol tautomerism, it becomes OH. Okay, like a phenol derivative. Now here methyl, here it is a COO ethyl. Methyl, COO ethyl. Now here 
so it forms the like a five membered ring okay now here it forms the like a like this this type of compound double bond over there now here another double bond one is methyl group another one is a ch2 coo ethyl okay in the presence of uh, uh, succinic esters we will get the uh, two types of possibilities among these two now the opposite uh, opposite position will get the hydrolyzed that is a more major product uh, uh, over than the second one okay well, however we used the uh, like a uh, instead of succinic ester we used the like a malonic ester so we will get the perkin reaction okay in presence of benzene benzo benzaldehyde with malonic esters we will get the perkin product perkin that is nothing but alpha beta unsaturated product so that perkin reaction which was uh, uh, like uh, introduced over the uh, with the help of this reaction only okay now we'll go through the uh, like uh, some of the examples regarding to this topic and answer Now we'll go through the, some of the examples uh, regarding to the, our Strabic condensation. Now here it is a succinic, ac a succinic acid ester. Okay, so now however we used the base, uh, certain bases. Okay, now here it is a benzaldehyde with base like a sodium hydride or a sodium betoxide. So, uh, so, uh, sometimes it is a maybe alpha beta unsaturated aldehydes. Again, uh, so here creates the alpha beta unsaturated. Now we'll take the alpha beta unsaturated. What will happen? Now the second case here it is a cyclic compounds so simply aliphatic compounds now we'll go through the some of the examples regarding to the our our concept okay now here it creates the double bond over there that is a succinic ester one of the ester retains another one becomes OH now here it is double bond okay so now here it is the phenyl group here it is the phenyl group a phenyl carbon that carbon double bond O uh, will replace it in the form of a double bond that is a condensed product that is condensed product now here uh, uh, alpha beta unsaturated compound double bond O O ethyl double bond O O H and now here it is a double bond double bond phenyl double bond double bond phenyl now in case third one so very easier now here it is a O ethyl C double bond O H now here it is the it forms the like a cyclic product that is exocyclic double bond it's on the uv visible spectroscopy okay if we add the like a uh, like a aromaticity okay well, whenever we use the chromophores see that this type of exocyclic uh, uh, double bonds will appear so the uh, uv visible spectroscopy double bond o ethyl o h okay now here double bond methyl double bond methyl so these are the simplest examples regarding to the strawberry condensation okay thank you for watching